We gotta tell him about the blood test and warn him about the 10 foot long needle. Bernard, how big is that needle? That needle, Terry, it really is, it's this big, Bernard. Okay, it's this big, Bernard. Okay, it's this big, but it hurts. Yeah, needles hurt. And sometimes we need to let them know that some hard things are going to happen to them. But yet we're going to be with them and we're going to help them through this experience. And we're going to love them very much through it. Yeah, like you love me, like I love you. Oh, I can't Take lie. Take the needle. I know. If you don't want to watch it, I go hollering when I get shot. Here we go, Georgie. Ready? Yes, you do, Yes, you do, Bernard. You're not hollering, Georgina. You're supposed to go like this. You're supposed to go, ow! <laughs> you're not hollering. Bernard, I can't feel it. You don't have feeling in your legs? No, Bernard. Boy, wow. That comes yeah. in handy when you get a shot. Except sometimes I get them in my arms. Do you get blood tests in your arms? Yeah, Do they no. hurt? Yes. Do you holler? Yes. I don't holler when I get shot. Yes, you do, Bernard. Oh, that's just the little boy down the hall. People do assume that Bernard is there to entertain. And when I do a lecture or, or I walk into a room, many times the first impression is they want a puppet show. But yet when you walk into a room that's full of grief and full of pain and full of terror, it's not the time for a puppet show. But yet you'll see a child that is there in pain. You'll see a child there bleeding or hurting or crying. Reach out their arms to a little puppet and they do that as a, as a comforter. And I know that the secret isn't in the puppet. The secret's in my hand because my hand's connected to my heart. And I believe that the power isn't the puppet, per se, the power comes from the power within, which is God.